this video is going to be on an important skill that we have to pick up during internship which will be you know to draw blood into different vacutainers which are there so it therefore becomes essential to know what these different colors of vacutainers mean and you know what investigations they will be used for and two uh, we need to know what is the order of draw which means that when you're collecting blood samples and you have like a set of investigations which are given, you should know in what order you will have to be drawing those samples and which vacutainer will be used first and which goes in the ending. The first vacutainer here is this one in, which is blue in color. Uh, it contains citrate. Now citrate actually has an anticoagulant effect. So if you get investigations like, um, you know, coagulation profile, you have PT, APTT, and then you want to estimate D-dimer and fibrinogen or the FDP levels, then we are going to use the blue color vacutainer. Yellow and red vacutainers are actually used for biochemical uh, investigations. So the red one here is a plain one. It doesn't contain anything in it. And the yellow one actually has like a serum uh, you know separator okay so what it does is that when you have to look for biochemical investigation say lipid profile or thyroid function tests or the liver function tests and uh, you also have the renal function test what you need there is the serum which means that you see the uh, formed elements of the blood or it needs to be separated from the serum and then it is from the serum that you're going to get all these investigations right so for that we actually use the red and the yellow color vacutainer this is a purple vacutainer. It has got potassium EDTA. Uh, this also acts as an anticoagulant and this is the one that we use for complete blood count, you know, to assess the hemoglobin levels for peripheral blood smear. Uh, you know, in case of malaria, the peripheral blood smear that you want to do for the parasite, also we use this. And for HbA1c levels, we make use of EDTA tubes okay and uh, another investigation is that uh, we can use this tube for estimating ESR by Wintrobes method. This green tube here contains heparin. So heparin containing tubes are what we use for ABG analysis and also estimation of serum electrolytes and for troponin T which is a cardiac marker. Last one here is this grey color tube which has got um, sodium fluoride sometimes it may even have oxalate. So why we need this is if you are told to draw blood for blood sugar estimation, then we use this. So this fluoride, what it does is it goes and inhibits an enzyme called enolase in the RBCs. And that uh, enzyme, right, normally if you do not inhibit it, what happens is it is used for the uptake of glucose by the RBCs. So say you draw blood in any of the other tubes like the purple tube, what happens is you will get a wrong estimation of the blood glucose because the sugars will be lower on that because your RBCs have utilized that glucose. So in order to prevent that, we are going to give fluoride and that is going to inhibit the enzyme enolase and it will give you an appropriate estimation of the blood sugar levels. I need the order of draw if you have a couple of investigations would be you'll start with the blue one for the coagulation profile uh, then you'll go for the biochemistry investigations and then after that you will draw it in the purple vacutainer which is for complete blood count then uh, you know for the ABG and electrolytes and the last one would be uh, for blood uh, sugar estimation right and if you are told to draw blood cultures then that would be the first one in the order of the draw because blood cultures need to be as sterile as possible so before using any of this draw the blood and it's a separate uh, bottle that comes it's a blood culture bottle that comes you have to draw it in that